It is now 7 o'clock. We will begin the Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting for August 8, 2013. We do have a quorum tonight, and tonight our prayer will be led by Alderman Green. And we're honored tonight to have a young lady from the Young Marines, Miss Abby Johnson, will be doing the pledge. If everyone would please stand. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us. And dear Lord, we pray for the ones that have suffered from fires and from uh, water damage and whatever might else might be. And dear Lord, we thank you for our visitors tonight, our young Marine and our Boy Scouts, and we thank you for the leaders, Pete, that works really and has worked so hard with these uh, Boy Scouts for such a long time. And dear God, we thank you for this city. We thank you for all the people and the, the love and the kindness that, that we show to each other. And we just pray when we make our decisions tonight, dear God, that we make ones that will be best for the people and for the city. And Lord, we just, we just pray for all of our military, our firefighters, every, every rescue, everybody, dear God, that's always out there so willing to help us and take care of us. And we thank you for sending your only son to die for us. And dear God, we just ask a blessing on each and every home in this city, not only our city, other cities too. And we thank you again for your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Miss Abby, if you'd like to come forward, please, and she's going to be leading our pledge. Present arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ready? Two. Thank you so much. We'd also like to say, Miss Sherry just mentioned, we'd like to welcome our Boy Scouts here tonight. Welcome. Thank you all for coming out and being with us. I hope everyone had a chance to look over the, the minutes for July 2nd. Special meeting, a public hearing, I'm sorry, then regular meeting July 2nd, and then we had a special called meeting on July the 18th. Do I have a motion to approve or to deny these minutes? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> Departmental reports. Fire department. Mayor, Alderman. First of all, let me point out the uh, total number of calls. There should be 121. There was a typo on the report. For the month of July 2013, a total of 121 calls. Consisted of three structure fires, 23 fire alarms, two vehicle fires, one grass fire, four hazardous materials calls, 28 motor vehicle accidents, 41 medical calls, four emergency miscellaneous calls, and 15 non-emergency miscellaneous calls. For the same month, July 2013, our, our res average response time was 3.1 minutes, and our total water consumption was 2,100 gallons. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Police Department. Mayor, Vice Mayor, Alderman. Uh, the report is there on your devices and also up. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Another good month for you. It was. <laughs> it was. A very, very busy month in July. We had a lot of things happening, a lot of good uh, a lot of good things occurred with uh, finding some folks that don't need to be on the streets. I have uh, I have something that I, I'm going to have to ask for some help on from uh, some folks. So if you'll bear with me just a second, I'm going to ask.
No. Skylar. <laughs> to these. <laughs> these ladies are uh, bringing something to you. Uh, we wanted each of you to have one of these, and I'm going to ask you ladies to come stand with me, if you will. There's a reason. There's, there's a reason they're here tonight. If you'll look at their shirt, you kind of have an idea. The Laverne Police Department's going gold in the month of September. The month of September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. And there's a reason they're here. I'm sorry, I'm an old guy. <laughs> we'll have these on all of our vehicles to remind everyone of Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. But there's some other things going on this weekend. There will be a softball tournament in Murfreesboro. And it's the Play for Tay tournament. Next slide. This is Tay. Beautiful young lady. Played softball and was diagnosed when she was 13. Last year, I said something about the gold ribbons and we were going to go gold. And I believe that same evening is when she was taken to the hospital. And Tay passed away last year. But she had, for those who are Army in here, she had that warrior spirit and that warrior attitude. She was an awesome young lady. She has an awesome family. And her mom, Maria, and her sister, Skylar, are here tonight. And they have their shirts on for a reason. Next slide. That's Tay but she was still smiling all the way through her fight and her battle. And uh, we started out doing some things back in 2010. And it was Pray for Tay. And we had wristbands that not only the kids wore, the, the grown folks did too. And then the Play for Tay started uh, to try to help and do some things. There was a fun time over at Laverne High School in 2010, and uh, Coach Morris was handcuffed, and uh, people donated, I think it was about $128 to get the handcuffs off her. And then some old guy that used to wear a tan and green uniform uh, took the gum belt and the boots off and the wallet out of the pocket and sat in a dunking tank. Uh, and he never did anything in uniform like that. But there was a good cause because everybody loved Tay. She was special. The kids loved her. And we love her family very much. And Maria's here because uh, not only is there an event going on this weekend, but there's another one going. Last slide, please. Live for Tay, the foundation. And I'm going to let you explain what that is and why it's there. Tay was passionate about raising awareness for childhood cancer, and everybody knows that Tay did not have a pediatric cancer. Unfortunately, she had an adult rare form terminal cancer. But with that being said, she was passionate about a gold ribbon, which signifies childhood cancer, which is during the month of September. She figured if anyone was going to stand a chance, and for awareness and research and funding, it was going to be them. So even in 2009, after her first surgery, Taylor sat and made gold ribbons, and it's all she could do. She couldn't be in school during the time, and handed those out the whole month of September at softball tournaments with friends, anybody that was aware to care, and that meant so much to her. So after Tay passed, we went from pray for Tay to live for Tay with her foundation. Um, she always said somebody had it worse than we had it, and she pretty much had it the worst, but somebody had it worse than her. Um, so we created the Live for Tay Foundation. She wanted to be able to help families and other families in the community, families at the Vanderbilt Hospital or the hospitals where we stayed, that we were able to receive some of that help. And some of them being at those local hospitals, they don't qualify for that help. So 
that's the basis of her foundation to help other families in the community and to help families that are um, in hospital stay that are stuck there. We were stuck in the hospital for weeks. We traveled to the NCI hospital back and forth for treatment pretty aggressively. Um, so we are going to live for Tay and that's what her foundation is going to do. And again, um, every year we do host her benefit and it's gotten bigger and bigger. And Laverne was wonderful to us those first two years, allowing us to have it here and it's just grown. Um, and I think this year is a record breaker with teams that we have out there. Um, and the goal is to that, to help all those other families and now to go into that um, foundation fund. So yeah, please, if anything, know that September is childhood cancer, what that gold ribbon stands for, and just be aware to care because that means more to her than anything else. Thank you. Thank you. Now here's the challenge. LPD's going gold. There are department heads here that have vehicles that are city vehicles. I'd love to see a gold ribbon on every city vehicle. The reason for that is Tay lived here. She's one of our kids in Laverne. And that's the reason. And I thank Maria and Skyler for coming tonight. I used up more of my, my three minutes, but I've got uh, one more thing that I, I think I need to let you know about. We had a, a very detailed, in-depth investigation that we just got, got through doing. Uh, <laughs> we believe there's evidence there. Uh, if you'll notice the feet that are there. Uh, but now that's exhibit A, look at the exhibit B. Uh, you'll notice the feet that were there are now off to the side. Um, and there's a foot in the mud and another one right there at it. Now next slide please. And you see there was a robber that was trying to rob the trophy but the robber ran away. <laughs> Mayor, you have any input into this? Well, I do have a statement from a detective, if y'all will allow me to read it. But I do believe this detective was tied to the end of one of those ropes. I so believe you're correct. It said, it's been brought to my attention that there is a debate over the winner of the tug of war. Exhibit A, as you've just seen, shows a fireman that shall remain lameless on the edge of the mud pit. The fireman on the edge of the mud pit, who is also trying to rob the police department of their well-deserved victory, is also <laughs> pictured in Exhibit B. <coughs> However, the rob burr is no longer holding the fire hose. Looking closer at Exhibit B, I see four more participants that were not pictured in Exhibit A, including a Nashville fireman who shall also remain nameless. <laughs> Mose lead his way <laughs> over to the LFD side. <laughs> I played in the softball game against the fire department, but I didn't see any of their players wearing fluorescent green <coughs> or gray shirts. Odd. <laughs> Exhibit B also clearly shows a fireman with his feet in the mud. If your computers have the capabilities of zooming, please focus your attention to his left foot. Also note the look of defeat on his face. Defeated subject is pictured <coughs> in Exhibit C with the other 12 members of his team, not counting the Rob Burr. In my experience in tug of war, once your lead man, a.k.a. Rob Burr, <laughs> lets go of the rope to avoid the mud, the other team is Victor. When your number two man is actually in the mud, the Laverne Police Department calls that a double whammy. In conclusion, I believe these photographs prove beyond a reasonable doubt that once again the Laverne Police Department is victorious. And that is from... Detective Ty McGowan, also known as the one tied at the end of the police department rope. 
We had a good time at National Night Out. There was a good crowd. We appreciate everybody coming, but more importantly, I appreciate all the help uh, from the departments here in, in the city that helped make this such a successful event. And there's another person that was very involved in that, and there'll be something else uh, in just a little bit about that too. But thank you all. Thank you all for your support and your help to do National Night Out. I think. Uh, I think it's an accomplishment to get to the point to where we have the things for them to do and the various things that they had an opportunity to see and be involved in and people in the community involved in it. And we appreciate that so much. Any questions or? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Rescue. Mayor Alder. Uh, we had no medical calls. We had 26 uh, motor vehicle accidents, one water-related issue, zero fire, one traffic, one search, 62 other, uh, three general business meetings, and 14 public relations. Um, total miles was uh, 1,718. Total hours was 1,168. Any questions? Any questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Coast Department. Mayor, Vice Mayor, Alderman, go Titans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for July, building permits were two single family dwellings. For commercial, there was one miscellaneous permits. There were nine. There were three signed permits, one grading. Uh, additions and remodels, there were four. Mobile homes, there were none. Commercial plan review, there was one. Total number of permits were 20. Plumbing permits, single family dwellings, there were two. Commercial, there was one. The mechanical permits were single family dwellings, one. And commercial, one. Complaints called in were 216. That number's up, if you'll notice. Uh, junk cars in the yards, trash in the yards. Uh, there were 33 junk cars, 66 trash, and 16 other. Unfortunately, there were no fire inspections this month. Uh, Dennis is the next number. The next number you see below are the building inspections that Dennis has been taking care of for us while we're filling that position, which it should take. The person should be on board with us come Monday. But having said that, Dennis did perform 117 building inspections last month. Um, Total number of single family permits issued year to date were 26. Total number of single family permits issued during the same time period last year was 27. Total number of all permits this year to date were 231. Any questions? questions? We'll get that fire inspection back on track soon. Uh, we'll get that position filled and I'm sure that Dennis is eager to oh, get yeah. back into, into doing what he's assigned to do so y'all kind of had your hands full this last yes, year just two of we, you so. we, it's been it's been a challenge we've got it covered but y'all have done a good job thank and i appreciate you. you thank you parks and recreation <coughs> mayor vice mayor alderman uh, there are numbers for the month as you can see uh national night out was a good time for everybody i think could have been a few more people in the mud. That was a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all go ahead and pull harder next year, somebody. <laughs> but uh, we uh, have, uh, we got entrance trickling in for Howl at the Moon, usually right before we get quite a few, but they're, they're starting to come in a little more steady now. Um, we have booked uh, a band for the, the uh, September 1st fireworks show. So uh, our stage came in. I'm not sure if we're going to use that one yet or not for this. I'm still trying to get some safety rails. I don't want anybody to get hurt. So um our traffic counter it says zero in the park we've had people in the park we've been having a fit with that counter though so we have another one on order it should be here first of next week and then we'll get it set up and, and we should be good um advisory committee on the 19th and senior advisory committee on the 15th at four and uh, that's about all i got we don't we're I, we estimated you know it was about seven eight hundred people you know total in and out any questions Questions? Thank you, Thank you. Finance Department. Good afternoon, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Alderman. Tonight's financial report is for the uh, 
end of the fiscal year 12-13. Uh, uh, these are preliminary numbers. Our auditors are, will be here um, at the end of the month to audit our records and we'll be presenting a uh, final uh, audited report uh, possibly in the month of December. Um, currently, um, the preliminary numbers for the general fund, we are estimating that the revenues will exceed expenses by $1.1 million. Uh, local sales tax, uh, we're estimating the sales tax to be up approximately $775,000 over the budget and uh, $529,000 better than prior year. State Street aid, revenues have exceeded expenses by $125,000. Stormwater revenues have exceeded expenses by 448,000. And in our water sewer fund, our revenues have exceeded expenses by approximately 800,000. The second page represents our balances in our various bank accounts. And the third page uh, is a comparison <coughs> to prior year. Uh, for the general fund, uh, net income is, was down $1.2 million as compared to prior year. And in the water sewer fund, um, the uh, revenue uh, had exceeded expenses by approximately $296,000 as compared to prior year. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Thank you. Tonight, um, our library staff could not be with us, but they do have a packet in your, uh, on your CD for your viewing. Water treatment plant. You need the mayor, vice mayor, alderman. Uh, what we have is our monthly summary for the month of June of this year comparatively to last year. I'll just touch on some of the highlights there. Uh, big temperature difference between June 2013 and 2012, so it reflects in the water that we had to, to produce for the demand of it. Uh, and the big significant numbers we see is the, the usage of our membrane that's able to, to reclaim a lot of the water we used to just have to put back in the metro uh, wastewater. So we put a value on that of uh, 6.8 million that, that was returned for reuse and uh, a savings of sewer fees of a little under 13,000. That was one I good. Our flushing program during the month of June, which uh, hopefully is improving some of the quality of the water and here and there, we hit 108 sites and used up almost 3 million gallons of water. So that's just the point of keeping the, the chemical levels fresh in the water and hopefully tasting a little better. Uh, the quality calls were at a minimum for the month again. Our maintenance was uh, $3,700, which puts us uh, pretty deep into our, our annual budget, but we're trying to, to allocate it for the rest of the year. Uh, our construction-wise at the plant, everything is going smooth. They're just uh, mainly just painting everything still. Uh, it's, it's moving on. The inconvenience is going inside. It's just about totally done, uh, air conditioning, ceiling, floors. Uh, that part's about done. Um, this month was interesting. We had our meeting with TDEC. Uh, we, we learned a little bit from them. Uh, going forward on a, on a lot of things will we'll be in the, in the future. Hopefully we'll, we'll gain from it somehow. Uh, but that's basically all I have for the month. Any questions? Thank you. Public Works. Good afternoon, Mayor Alderman. Uh, this is for the month of July. We had uh, 975 chipper uh, pickups with a total of uh, 81.44 tons of uh, brush being hauled off. And we're going down to where it's got 2260 tons of asphalt. That is for the Jones Mill Road project that is completed. And I hadn't got it on here yet, but we did pave the Mason Road about a mile of it with uh, part of old Nashville Highway and Brewer here off of Murfreesboro Road. Uh, met with Lo uh, Hoover today. They're gonna go in next week and start uh, adjusting castings around the Lake uh, Lynnhurst area and get that ready for paving. And Hoover said they could be in the day or so after they got through to start paving. So maybe in the next couple of weeks, we'll, we'll have that completed back here. And there's several phases of it. I've got to break it down. but. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, just been busy. All the guys been busy. Uh, we've got two in the fleet department now. I'm hoping by maybe the next week or so, when we get our oil and stuff in, we're going to start changing the oil in the city vehicles, with the exception of the police department right now, until we get it going. And that's about all I have. Any questions? 
I would like to say uh, put David Henson in your prayers. We had one to go down on us today, but yes, please. I went to the hospital. He's doing good. Excellent. Thank yeah, you. Let them know if there's anything we can do. Just let us know. We'll do it. Utilities. Good afternoon, Mayor Alderman. Uh, utilities. We had a pretty busy month in July. In the sewer department, we generated 111 work orders. Uh, had a total of 120 hours overtime. Uh, most of that was split between pump stations and grinder pumps. Uh, pump stations due to a lot of bad weather this month. Uh, in water, we generated 90 work orders. We had zero new meter sets, uh, five water lines that we repaired, and answered to 133 one calls. We had 64 and a half overtime in water. <clears throat> Uh, Project AMR is utilities as a whole and water billing. That's why I didn't mention that in the sewer special projects because everybody's working really hard with the installing program, utilities, water billing, working together. Uh, you're going to hear a lot about that for months to come on the AMRs. So, and that's it. And I just want to thank you very, very much for stepping up. And Michael's really been doing a good job. He and Garland and keeping things going over there. And, and I just want to know you to know how much we appreciate you. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Okay. Human resources. Good evening, mayor, vice mayor, alderman. I have the human resource report for July. And I'd like to say that we had nine external jobs posted a total of 84 applicants for nine positions. We actually had uh, two resignations and one employee termination. In the area of claims management and risk management, one EEOC charge. In the area of employee and family wellness, there were 101 care here appointments and there were nine no-shows. Total enrollments for July, 260. There were five HRA uh, conducted, assessments conducted, and dependent lives covered 283, employee lives covered 156, dependent claims 485, employee claims 430, which was down from last month, uh, 496, and then family claim dollars, $61,684, which was down from last month, and single claim dollars, $58,886, for a total of $120,570, which was down tremendously compared to June uh, with $151,543. Are there any questions for Human Resources? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I haven't forgotten anybody now, have I? <laughs> Okay. So, fun, fun, fun. <coughs> we would like to begin this portion with our employee of the month. This lovely lady, I think all of us depend on her a great deal. In the last several months before Miss Cheryl came on board, this lady handled all of HR because as all of you know, Mr. Gaston went to the state on us. And uh, Vaughn just stepped right up to the plate. She never missed a beat and is always here with a smile on her face <laughs> and doesn't even run from us when we're whining. So <laughs> if Ms. Vaughn would please come forward. <laughs> City of Laverne Certificate of Appreciation is hereby granted through Vaughn Barr for your dedication and hard work for the City of Laverne. The City hereby recognizes you as Employee of the Month for August 2013 and thanks you for your excellent work you do for the City of Laverne and for always listening to us whine. Thank you. <laughs> Hurry up, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad hair day. <laughs> She's lucky she still has hair at this point. <laughs> okay, no, I think.
think, Chief, you're next. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I got a couple more. Well, earlier I kind of teared up a little bit because I was talking about something, and uh, old guy syndrome has kicked in again. Uh, I don't know what I've done with a couple of documents that I needed to bring, but Sheree, would you come up? <laughs> I asked her to be here tonight because of something else that's after this, but Sheree Robertson is our officer of the month and also is to get a uh, Chief's uh, Excellence Award tonight. And I don't know what I've done with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> huh? It's recording. I know it's recording. <laughs> but no, it's live. Uh, that's what's bad. But Cherie has done so much for the last several months since she took on the role of community liaison officer. She does so much in the community. She's been there to help people who are victims of fire, uh, pe people who have been victims of domestic violence, um, to assist people in finding assistance and help for various kinds of things, to do follow-ups, to see if there's anything uh, we can do to help in a different light other than being there with the uniform on and taking the report and whatever else we may have to do the way the job normally is. She's a very wonderful representative for the department to let people know that we are real people and we do care about the citizens in our community. And <laughs> I'm sorry, but she is the officer of the month in addition to, uh, she did a tremendous amount of work with National Night Out, and uh, we really appreciate you. I appreciate you a Thank bunch. You. Thank you. And if you're high on, uh, we got a couple other things. Uh, Chief Citizen Service Award uh, for Charles Rose and also uh, one for employees as a whole of United Stationers, Laverne Plant. And I'm going to read this because you all are special to us, Charles. Uh, you heard about the need for additional school supplies for Laverne children last year and you stepped up to help. Once again this year you took the lead in the Employees Foundation for United Stationers is supplying 800 50 backpacks and school supplies for children in Laverne <coughs> schools. We know this was not the work of just one person, but someone had to operate the tow motor to get these projects up off the ground. In recognition of your concern and leadership, I present this Citizen Service Award for helping educate our children. And on behalf of all of us, There are no other employees tonight that are here, but we also have one for all the employees of United Stationers, the Laverne plant. They're over on Industrial. And folks, I'm telling you, uh, last year they came out of nowhere, stepped up and helped and provided additional supplies. Uh, we went to them later and asked for backpacks. We have Laverne children at Rock Springs Middle School, even though it's in Smyrna. And we had children going home on Fridays and teachers and others were concerned about whether they were going to eat after they left school on Friday, between then and Monday. And we were provided additional backpacks so that donated food could be put in those backpacks so children could go home on the weekend with something that we made sure they had to eat. And uh, you all are awesome. Absolutely awesome. That's for every employee there, you especially. Thank you. Oh, don't run off. Don't run off. <laughs> We've got something for you. It's from the city as well. City of Laverne Certificate of Appreciation is hereby granted to United Stationers for your dedication and hard work on behalf of the students enrolled in schools throughout the city of Laverne. The city hereby acknowledges that you have made a positive impact through your tremendous generosity. And we certainly appreciate everything that you do for our city. Thank you, sir, very much. <laughs> and mayor, 
we also have school supply collection going on. So we, anyone, please pass the word. Anyone who's interested in donating school supplies for children in Laverne schools, uh, be sure and drop pencils, paper, notebooks, whatever, by the police department. We'll be glad to accept those we're collecting and we'll distribute those to our schools as well because we have many children who uh, unfortunately don't have the supplies they need in order to get the education that they deserve because the family simply doesn't have the funding available. And we're there to help them because the more we can help them and ensure they are educated now, the less likely they are to have dealings with us in the police department down the road uh, in another light. And we want to be there and let them know that uh, this whole community supports them. So bring your supplies by. We'll take them in a heartbeat. Next, I have a proclamation, and I would like to ask my friend, Ms. Abby Johnson, and her crew to please come forward. See, they're shy. They're not like you, are they? <laughs> As you all have heard, they represent the young Marines in our area. And this is a proclamation from the office of the mayor. Whereas communities across America have been plagued by the numerous problems associated with the illicit drug use and those that traffic in them. And whereas there is hope in winning the war on drugs and hope lies in education and drug demand reduction, coupled with the hard work and determination of organizations such as the Young Marines of the Marine Corps League to foster a health drug-free style, and whereas governments and community leaders know that citizen support is one of the most effective tools in the effort to reduce the use of illicit drugs in our communities. And whereas the Red Rib Ribbon Campaign was established by Congress in 1988 to encourage a drug-free lifestyle and involvement in drug prevention and reduction efforts. And whereas October 23rd through the 31st, 2013 has been designated as National Red Ribbon Week, which encourages Americans to wear a red ribbon to show their support for a drug-free environment. Now, therefore, I, Sina Mosley, Mayor of the City of Laverne, Tennessee, do hereby proclaim the week of October 23rd through the 31st, 2013, to be Red Ribbon Week in Laverne, Tennessee, and urge all citizens to join me in this special observance. I have hereunto set my hand on this, the eighth day of August, 2013. And she has graciously already given us some red ribbons to wear. So we are gonna be set with our gold ribbons in September and our red ribbons, that's a mouthful, in October. So I encourage everybody to support Gold September, and we're going to go red in October. How's that? Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, sir, for all you do. Thank you for being with them. I see a future leader in our midst, ladies and gentlemen. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, down to the business. Old Business, Second Reading, Ordinance 2013-08, an ordinance to amend the Laverne Zoning Ordinance as it pertains to signed variances. Received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on June the 25th, 2013. Motion to approve. Okay, I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Second reading, Ordinance 2013-09, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2013-14 general fund budget for changes to the Parks and Recreation Department staffing. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Number six. Resolution 2013-14, a resolution to rename 
Parthenon Boulevard to Waldron Road, rename a portion of Waldron Road to Old Waldron Road, and rename a portion of Waldron Road to Cherokee Drive. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Is there any discussion on this one? Everybody understands what the portions that we are renaming. I see no discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Next will be our consent agenda items. It is quite lengthy. We discussed these in great length during our workshop. Do I have a motion to approve or to deny our consent agenda items? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Do I have any discussion? I see none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Under new business, Motion to appoint and remove board members. Construction Board of Adjustment and Appeals, that is to move one member. I'm getting to it. Sorry guys, my fingers are all too big. Pray if I can find it. <coughs> Page Got it. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, it keeps going off. All righty. And that is to remove, he no longer lives here. Mm -hmm. well, it won't do. I can't read the name. He's actually moved to, Jim. there we go, John Yoder. He has moved to North Carolina. So do I have a motion to remove Mr. Yoder from the construction board? Motion to remove. Okay, I have a motion to remove. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? <coughs> Aye. 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 And we will put this on next month to replace him. Number nine, first reading, ordinance 2013-10, an ordinance to amend Title II, Chapter 6 of the Laverne Municipal Code by adding members to the local emergency planning committee. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. First reading, Ordinance 2013-11, an ordinance to amend the 2012-13 fiscal year general fund budget. Motion to approve. <coughs> I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 First reading, Ordinance 2013-12, an ordinance to amend the 2012-2013 fiscal year state street aid fund budget. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Number 12. First reading, Ordinance 2013-13, an ordinance to amend the 2012-2013 fiscal year Senior Citizens Fund budget. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? second? I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Number 13, first reading, Ordinance 2013-14, an ordinance to amend the 2012-2013 Fiscal Year Streets Capital Projects Fund Ballot. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Excuse me. First reading, Ordinance 2013-15. An ordinance to amend the City of Laverne Zoning Ordinance regarding cemeteries in residential district received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on July 30th, 2013. Motion to approve or to deny? 
a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Do I have any discussion on this item? I see none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 2013-15, a resolution authorizing the City of Laverne to participate in the TML Risk Management Pool Safety Partners Loss Control Matching Grant Program. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 2013-16, a resolution of the City of Laverne Board of Mayor and Aldermen to declare certain vehicles and equipment owned by the city to be surplus to the city's needs and directing disposal of the same. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have second. a second? I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 17, resolution 2013-17, a resolution to accept the Woodsong Section 4 subdivision received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on July 30th, 2013, and they did finish everything that, that was required of them for the Planning Commission to approve this. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And aye. All right, number 18. Motion to approve change order one for the water treatment plant improvements project. Bruce, you want to give, uh, give them a little update on this one? This is uh, part of the project uh, for the water treatment plant uh, improvements. Uh, they had found some were some joints. Uh, some of the compound that was in the joints had dried up and was flaking. And so in order to, to fix that, they needed to replace that. Also, they're uh, painting the uh, containment walls on the, uh, the Myox room. Uh, and that's a, a big portion of that as well. That's really the, the main parts of this. Do I have a motion to approve this change order or to deny it? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Number 19. Motion to approve purchase of a canine officer for the police department. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Uh, just uh, anything further on the sole source? Just we, we still feel pretty comfortable. We out, outright purchase right now. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So we'll be welcoming another officer, Mike, to our force. <laughs> Number 20, first reading, ordinance 2013-16. <clears throat> An ordinance to amend Title 11, Chapter 6 of the Laverne Municipal Code by adding a new Section 11-604 regarding amphetamine control. Motion to approve. I have second. a motion to approve. I have a second. Any, any questions? All those in favor? Aye. aye. And I vote aye. Motion carries. Motion to approve easement from Amnon Shriegman for the construction of the 18-inch water main along near Shriegman near the roundabout on Stones River Road. Bruce, you want to give us a little more info on that? Yes, ma'am. This, this is the easement that would allow the city to uh, install uh, the 18-inch water line to connect on those two segments there. Uh, and also would give us the ability that, that the width is wide enough to actually build the road. Whether or not we build the road or it's built down the road by the developer, that, that's left to be determined. Uh, the only, only issue we have with this is when the uh, title search was done on this property, they did find uh, at least one lien on the property. Uh, so if, if you do approve this item, I would request that you approve it uh, subject to clear title coming back uh, on that easement property, which means we have to get permission from the bank that has the lien on that property because it was involved uh, in, in the bankruptcy. So that's uh, 
my request there as far as you know approving this conditional on that i'll make a motion to approve what bruce said okay <laughs> <laughs> good for you did you get that kathy okay i'll second okay <laughs> <laughs> oh man <clears throat> Under the conditions that we do get a clear time. Okay, and I do have a second from Alderman Broker. Do I have any further questions? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. aye. And I vote aye. Motion to approve proposal to conduct appraisals on the fire department properties. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Okay. Any discussion on this? Or Bruce, you want to give us a little? Yes, little ma'am. This was not on the uh, the workshop agenda. It's something that uh, that came up afterwards. Uh, as part of the e process of purchasing the fire department from LFD, uh, we need to obtain some appraisals on the four different properties: the three fire stations, and then the uh, the vacant property on uh, Old Nashville Highway. Uh, I I sent out some requests for some quotes. Uh, we did receive two two quotes back. Uh, one was uh, from Johnny Sullivan uh, for ten thousand uh, dollars, and he felt that he could get the the job completed in seventy five to eighty days. Uh, the second quote was from Norman Hall. Uh, his cost was ten thousand five hundred, uh, and he felt that he could have it completed in about thirty days. We are on a, a time constraint with this. Well, do uh, I need to clarify to number this. two? Right. In order to get this completed in, in the amount of time we have left, I feel that it would be good to, to award this to, uh, to Norman Hall. Uh, it is the higher uh, quote at 10500 but I think uh, it's justified just because of the time issues that we're having to get this completed. So do I need to change my motion for number well, two? Just, just clarify that it, you're recommending Norman you're, Hall. Yeah, yeah Norman Hall. Okay. Is that your second? No, I'll second that. So I have a motion for Mr. Hall, and I have a second. Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. aye. And I vote aye. We're down to Mayor and Alderman comments. Alderman Green, we'll start with you. I really don't have anything. I thought National Night Out was good. I didn't get to stay as long as I would like to have. But there's one thing when I was doing my prayer, I, when I spoke about Pete, I thought of his wife, Janice, and she has been sick for a long, long time. So if we could keep Pete and Janice Absolutely. in our prayers, because it's really hard for him to work with the boys and have time to, you know, take away from her because he tries to be with her so much. So I would like us to remember them. Absolutely. And I guess that's it. Vice Mayor? I'd just like to point out I'm really disappointed with the tug of war because nobody was covered in mud. Oh, we forgot to do that, didn't we? And for the last two years, I've been covered in mud, and I can assure you, <laughs> somebody will be muddy next year. <laughs> 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 I will have somebody to drive me home in the back of the truck, and uh, other people will be muddy. Actually, we forgot to, to give out the trophies. Uh, the fire department did take home the softball trophy. And we believe that we need to defer the tug of war till we have further investigation. In your own day. <laughs> but I think, well, we have to go with our investigation here since it was done by the <clears throat> detective. So looks like the police are, I think, well, the fire department took them both last year. Did no, they not? Police, no, police, police took them both last year. Oh, the police yeah. took Well, then I think the fire department should have them both this year. <laughs> you have to earn it. I'm going to let y'all fight this out. Or you could say we deserve it because neither one of us got through in the mud. That's true. We, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's right. The wrong bird bailed out. That's true. That's why I left early. That's right. <laughs> Are you, is that it? I, I do have a nephew that was born two days ago that's not doing real well. Mm -hmm. And i like everybody to pray for him. Absolutely. Who Absolutely. Is My nephew, Miles. Miles. We certainly will. All we sure will. Yes, ma'am. Um, AC, you were talking earlier about the Howl at the Moon. I just wanted to, I was going to ask you, did you hear from the 
the old HR? Uh, or or can, I, can, I can I retire I undefeated? Heard, I, have heard, I have heard that he's coming back, but mm -hmm. I have not got an entry there's, form there's gotta be a, There's got to be a drop dead time, though, so I can just <laughs> right, right. retire. You, you, might, have a you might want to contact him and give him a call. I'm not, no, no. no. no he's, he's the challenger. You know? <laughs> when is Hal at the moon? Uh, that, speaking of that, that will be the 23rd. 23rd. Yes. Is that it? Yes, ma'am. This is. Well, we'll start off. Uh, Chris didn't say it, but Miss Maggie May has her first birthday coming up next week. She does. So we want to wish her a happy birthday. Uh, Howl at the Moon again, August the 23rd. September the 1st, we will be having an end of the summer bash from 6 to 9 at the park. We were rained out on the 4th of July. So we decided we're just going to have an end of the summer bash and school starting. And we'll just get out there and have a good time because nobody, they're going to be off Monday. So we'll get out there and have a good time on September the 1st. Also, we have a new baby in our police department. Mr. Er, er, uh, Officer Eric Crowder had a new baby girl. And I believe Officer or Detective Hoffer, has he got one yet? Uh, we're on standby on that one. So we'll be having a, a new officer there as well. Uh, and please remember uh, the Hargrove family. They were in a terrible dune buggy accident. They are residents here in Laverne and very well-known couple here. Ms. Hargrove, I did believe, passed away today. Uh, sources have told me, so please remember this family in your prayers. Also, remember the Hendricks family. We lost Mr. Hendricks to a bad car accident last week. And uh, so we've, we've had some tragedy here. So neighbors, be neighbors and check on them. And please remember these families in your prayers. Also remember uh, David Henson. in the street department. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's been under the weather and I think he's had some heart surgery. So we need to remember that family as well. And I believe, have I, have I gotten everybody? I think so. Uh, we thank everyone for being here, guests. It's always an honor to have y'all in the audience with us. With that, I will call this meeting adjourned.